Yes, sir. We are back with another NBA 2K24 next gen rate my build video or rate a build video. Okay, and as you can see, um, I'm on my hybrid defender, man. One of my favorite builds. And we're just going to try to find somebody right quick, man, as we stroll through the city, man. What up, bro? What up, bro? What up, bro? What up with it? What up with it? What up with it? Let's see, can we find somebody right quick, man? We started off way back there. I ain't no telling what somebody yet, man. Let me go buy one of these uh, um, subway things. I don't see nobody, boy. Where about that? Okay, y'all hiding from your boy, man. What a subway thing. Yeah. Should be able to find somebody. I go to subway right there. What we got? Oh, now nah, he a 68 hill. Now nah, he ain't got no attribute. Buddy right there. I cruise PR. I cruise PR. Let's get close to him and check him out. Let's check I cruise PR out. There we go. Let's see. Is this him? Yep. Oh, he got the center. Okay. Okay. I cruise PR. Shout out to him. Um, he has a seven foot center, three level threat. Kind of remind me of my center build. Um, I have a three level threat center that's seven foot tall. So, first thing first, when you think about a center, right? You think about um, interior defense, shot blocking, and rebounding. Okay. Those three things are very, very, very important for a center. You know, all the other stuff is kind of secondary, in my opinion, and also the strength. You know what I'm saying? Like, those things are most important, in my opinion, for a center. So, we're going to go straight to the defense, right? And right off the bat, you know, I see that he has a 92 defensive rebound, okay? That's fine. You get, you get gold rebound taste. But he has a 92 defensive rebounding and... Uh, I don't know what this is. His offensive rebound is so low. It's probably a, uh, let's see, the 60 right there. So he probably got like a 50 something. Like, that's not good, my boy. Okay? That's nowhere close to being good. Because this build that I'm on right now, I have more rebound than that on my offense. You feel what I'm saying? Like, and I'm a small forward. So. What you think I'm gonna do to you in the post, man? Cause I still got gold box. That's what he got. Because guess what? He didn't. Um, he didn't. Um, he didn't um, put the put the strength up high enough. So he got an 86 um, um, strength on his build. So that means he can't get Hall of Fame box. Okay. So you need a 90 strength and a 93 um, rebounding to get Hall of Fame box. So he can't get Hall of Fame box. Okay, he can't get it. So, you know, that's a, that's a mistake in, in, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? When you do something like that, I think that's a mistake. That's a huge mistake. You feel what I'm saying? Because, you know, you want to kind of maximize your rebound for sure when you have a center. So, the offense rebound way too low, okay, and the strength is too low. So, I would say, uh, you know, 90 strength is, is, is the ideal number. You know what I'm saying? And I flip these two around. I do the, the high offense and, and, and lower defense or whatever. But um, he's good on the – on. I guess he wanted more speed. You know what I'm saying? Like, he gave it up for more speed, I guess. But anyway, so for the shot blocking and the interior defense, I think that's pretty good. That's uh, kind of, that's a combination that I have, uh, 74 and 87. So you will be able to get some blocks. Now, um, as we go to the playmaking, okay, he, I don't know why he want all that playmaking on the bill. I guess he want to dribble. You know what I'm saying? Everybody like different stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then with the pass accuracy, why would you go to a 79? You know what I'm saying? I can't remember what you get at 79. You probably get an extra level on your badge. But I would say a 75 should be good enough. If you can't get gold break starter, which that's all you should be focused on anyway. You know what I'm saying? If you, you can't get gold break starter, you know, uh, just don't take it up higher than that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, don't take it up uh, anywhere higher than the silver. You feel what I'm saying? Like, uh, that stuff in between is cool on some categories, but, you know, I just take that to a 75. Now, the ball handling and speed with ball, that's a personal preference. Maybe he want to dribble, I don't know. Uh, but, you know, he got that on his bill, which I think, you know, is kind of a waste uh, when you got rebounding that low and you worried about some freaking ball handling and speed with ball and your freaking offensive rebounding is trash. Like, come on now. But anyway, as we go to the uh, shooting, so he has a 79 three-point shot, which is not bad, with an 86 mid-range shot and an 86 free throw. So that's not bad. I would have to give him a, a plus on that, you know, because he got some shooting, three-point shooting and mid-range shooting. Now, we get to the finishing. Y'all know how I feel about finishing. 
Um, he got post going. I love post going, so that's a plus for me. Um, he also has an 83 standard dunk, which is not bad. You still get some big man contact dunks on this build. Um, as far as the driving dunk, it looked like he got about a 75, I want to say, which is good as long as he probably got um, a post rise on bronze. So if he got a 73, um, that's fine. Um, it looked like he do. Um, for the layup, that's, that's pretty high uh, for a center. Okay, so he got an 80, which is not bad. You know, I'm not going to go against having high layup. And he got a 77 on the close shot. Now, this is this is, this is is the thing right here. Okay, let me let me break this down. If you got a 77 layup, um, I mean, if you got a 77 close shot, you get silver, you get silver fearless finisher and silver masher. Okay, so therefore, in my opinion, you don't need super high layup because that's all the 80 layup give you. Unless you want somebody layup package, you know, 80 layup is going to give you silver fearless finisher, but a 77 close shot to give you silver fearless finisher and silver master. So in my opinion, you can take the um, you can take the layup down some. You know, that's just my personal opinion how I feel about it because, like I said, you do get um, silver fearless finisher and silver master with the close shot. Okay, so that's just a personal thing that I I I, I do. You know what I'm saying, like. You, you, you still can make layups with lower layup. Don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? So, um, we go to the physicals. Um, we got pretty good speed, pretty good acceleration. Like I said, the strength, I will bump that up to a 90 so I can get a uh, Hall of Fame box. Uh, we got the 80 vertical. That's enough to get gold chase down artists. Um, so, that's good. And he got good stamina. So, um, overall, I wouldn't say it's bad. You know, it just got a couple of bad areas. You know, like the strength and the offensive rebounding. Like, that's the only thing. And he... I mean, like the playmaking, that's personal preference. But that's the only thing I see wrong with the build. So overall, it's not bad at all, you know what I'm saying, on how he did it. Um, you know, I just would do it another way, you know, try to try to do it a little bit better. But like I said, overall, it's not that bad. Okay, so uh, let's go to the badges. Let's take the badges out. Okay, Pro Touch on Hall of Fame, gold back down punish. I guess he won a big drive on gold, you know what I'm saying? See, this is what I'm talking about. He got gold box out beast. That's the high as it can go. You feel what I'm saying? Gold catch and shoot is great. Uh, chase down artists on gold is great. Dream shake, drop stepper, float game, go open looks, pogo, post fade, feed on, rebound chases on gold. That's great. Anchor on silver. That's great. Blinders. We got break start on silver. See, you can't get it on gold, so the 79 is like, eh, you know. Uh, we got bulldozer on uh, silver. Okay. Bunny on silver. Claymore. Uh, comeback kid. Corner specialist. Dead eye. Dimer. Fast twitch. Uh, fearless. As you can see, uh, free points, green machine, and Mooba Enforcer. Now, see, this is what I'm saying. So, with the 90 strength, you got gold and Mooba Enforcer and gold brick wall. But since he only has an 86, he got silver and Mooba Enforcer and silver brick wall. Okay? So, that's that's the only thing I, I got to say about that. But he got a lot of good silver badges. Um, got a lot of bronze badges, too. You know what I'm saying? He's still probably working on it, uh, working on some of his badges. But, um, you know. He, he just made a, and he just he ain't even played but one game in the city. And the wreck, he played 35 games, you know what I'm saying? He got 403 rebounds, got some blocks, got some steals, good free throw percentage, um, three point percentage, 31. Okay. 2K just show all your business, man. They just show all your business, dog. Show all your business. But anyway. Um, like I said, man, uh, that's the beer right there, man. That's the review. Uh, make sure you like the video. Share the video. Shout out to I Cruise PR or I C. I don't know if he. I don't know what he's trying to say. I Cruise or I don't know. But anyway, shout out to him, man. I'm out of here like last year, y'all. Charge.